I'm Greg Trasick with WebH Solutions. We recently hosted a webinar on DevOps. I'd like to give you a quick introduction to the philosophy and technologies around DevOps, and then I'll tell you how to get access to the full recorded webinar. We're probably all familiar with the traditional software development process. Here's one variation. We do requirements gathering, development, testing, and deployment. Usually, we treat testing and quality assurance as part of development, even though the organization might be split into different groups. The operations function is where the software is deployed or put into service, and users can start getting value from the software. Traditionally, development and operations have been separate activities done by separate groups, and they often seem to have competing goals. DevOps is all about bringing these activities and groups closer together to make provision of services seamless and frictionless. As with any process improvement, it's all about people, process, and tools. Now, this isn't necessarily IT stuff. In the past 30 years, all the physical and knowledge industries have seen waves of process engineering. As a matter of fact, the idea of avoiding waste in a process goes back to Henry Ford's first production line. Since then, we've seen lean thinking, theory of constraints, Kanban and Kaizen. In the coding field, we've seen extreme programming, agile, test-driven development, and behavior-driven development. DevOps builds on all this process theory. It says don't do things that aren't required. Minimize waste. Use appropriate tools and processes. Do root cause analysis. Use mistake proofing. Now, process and cultural transformation is difficult. And although we at WebAge can describe the end state, it's something that you're going to have to work out in your organization. What we can do is help with the technology and tools. So what are those tools? Well, first, let's come out and admit that there are really two groups in DevOps, Dev and Ops. Here's one way to look at it. The software delivery process really consists of a group of people who are mainly concerned with development who create software, which goes through some mysterious release process that usually involves quality assurance and gets implemented into operations, which is run by a group of people who are mainly concerned with administration and deployment. This whole process takes place in the context of the organization's social and process environment, and the people who participate share a set of tools and technologies. So as we were saying, what are those tools? Well, on the developer end of the spectrum, we have development tools, build tools, and continuous integration tools wrapped in an agile process. Tools like Apache Maven and Jenkins continuous integration come to mind here. In the release engineering area, we have testing tools, quality assurance tools, and release auditing tools. We'd be thinking of things like SOAP UI and Sonar, Towards the operations end of the spectrum, we get deployment automation tools, provisioning tools, cloud tools, and monitoring tools. Here, we're talking about things like Chef, Puppet, Docker, and Zabbix. Some tools are shared across the entire process, like artifact management and software configuration management, or version control tools. Git, Mercurial, or Subversion for version control. Nexus, Artifactory, or Apache Arkeva for storing and serving artifacts. To sum up, DevOps is all about flow, process, automation, and above all, culture and trust. Now I'd like to point you to WebAge's webinar series. In particular, we recently hosted a webinar with Mikhail Vladimirov, our Director of Curriculum Architecture, on DevOps. You can view the recorded webinar here. Also, make sure you have a look at the upcoming webinars here. They're a great opportunity to find out about the latest technologies from our subject matter experts. You can ask questions during the webinar, and you'll receive a link to the slides and recording after the event. Finally, for information on our DevOps training, click here. So, this is Greg Trasick for WebH Solutions. Thanks for your time and please stay tuned to this channel.